So ChatGPT for affiliate marketing is actually insane. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use ChatGPT to find untapped, lucrative, high ticket niches. We're gonna be building a high ticket affiliate marketing business right in front of your very eyes today. So inside ChatGPT, we're gonna be using this, well, a bunch of different custom prompts, okay? So I'm gonna be saying to ChatGPT, I'm an affiliate marketer focusing on Amazon affiliate products. Your task is to find me a high ticket niche using the following guidelines, okay? So what we wanna do here, the essence of this strategy is we wanna find high ticket, high commission products on Amazon affiliate, okay? And this is gonna work for, you know, ClickBank, for Digistore, pretty much any kind of um, affiliate marketing website, okay? And what we wanna do is we wanna find low to medium competition and then target that with SEO traffic, okay? So I'm asking ChatGPT, we wanna look for high commission rates and payouts using products priced $500 and above because a percentage of a high ticket product is obviously gonna be more money for you, okay? Rather than selling seven or $10 products, waste of time, all right? So we wanna be looking at low to medium SEO competition, identify niches where it's realistic to rank on a new site with targeted content. We wanna search for evergreen niches with a consistent demand and search volume. So it's just, you know, consistent throughout the year, not seasonal, doesn't dip. We wanna be looking at buyer intent keywords. So this is really important, okay? We want ChatGPT not only to give us the niche, not only to give us the list of high ticket products on Amazon in that niche, we also want it to generate a list of keywords that indicates someone is ready to purchase, e.g. Uh, best product or best XYZ, etc. okay? The reason we do this is that we want our content that we create to target these keywords to be focused on that buyer intent, okay? We wanna target buyers. We don't wanna target freebie seekers or people who are not ready to buy, okay? We want high conversions on this. And we want our niche to have room to scale so we can be able to target with sub-niche content, with backdoor keywords, with related to topics, etc. okay? So ChatGPT is gonna take all these guidelines into consideration, and then it's gonna output us a list of five niche ideas using the above guidelines, so high ticket, um, high end niches, examples of high ticket products on the Amazon website that allow affiliate marketing in each niche, keyword ideas for SEO and search volume estimates, and content strategy ideas to rank for these keywords and capture buyer intent, okay? All this th stuff is really, really important, all right? Now, ChatGPT, I'm gonna be using the uh, 01 uh, preview version for this because it does a little bit more thinking, but you can obviously go ahead and use the free version for uh, if you want to as well, all right? But I was super, super impressed with what ChatGPT came back with me on this. In fact, it didn't just give me the niche, it gave me the products, it gave me an co entire content strategy, and I've actually got some other additional prompts to take that even further. So if you want all the prompts, it, I show you in today's video, sign up for the newsletter, the next gen AI newsletter in the description below. I'm gonna be giving everything away inside the newsletter as I do every single week. All right, so go sign up for that now. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this into ChatGPT and let's see what it comes up with. And it's always important when you're doing these prompts that you don't just do like one or two lines, okay? You need to give ChatGPT context, you need to give it guidelines, you need to, you know, help it and you'll get the best output. So right now it's evaluating niches, it's probably investigating, um, and you can actually you know, see step-by-step step the ChatGPT brain exactly what it's doing, all right? So it's thought for 20 seconds, and so it's gonna list them one by one here. So the first niche has come up with is electric bicycles or e-bikes, okay? Uh, the second one, smart home security system, high-end massage chairs, 3D printers, that's a great one, and high-end home theater systems, okay? so. You can see here for each high-end niche, it's actually giving me the specific products or examples of specific products on the Amazon website, okay? So we've got this, um, I don't know how to pronounce that, but this electric bike here, about $800 plus a go. This one here, $1,500. So again, it's definitely listening to the guidelines and it's giving us high ticket products. It's also giving us a start for um, keyword ideas and search volume estimates, okay? So obviously this is not up to date here, but. 2023 is still getting 10,000 searches a month. I don't know why that is. I mean, do people really know what year it is? I mean, it's almost 2025, right? But uh, yeah, Fulgen Electric Bike Reviews, affordable electric bikes under $2,000. Okay, so it's it's more there to, to give you ideas to kind of set you off, right? And here's a content strategy um, for specifically for e-bikes, okay? Write comprehensive reviews on popular electric bikes, higher than the features, pros and cons. Comparison articles, buying guides, SEO optimization using bio ten keywords and titles. Again, that's really important. And then user guides. And basically it's done this for each niche that it's found, okay? Some great niches in here, high-end massless chairs, um, 3D printers, definitely, guys. Very niche. 
Um, but again, you know, offer big commissions on that and high-end home theater systems um, and content strategy ideas for that. Okay, um, I've run this prompt a couple of times and I've basically been listing uh, really good niches that I think I can actually crack and have potential that aren't too competitive, okay? So we actually wanna get more detail from this. We've kind of, we've got the introduction here and um, a great niche that I found using ChatGPT earlier was uh, high-end telescopes. So I, it actually gave me uh, this telescope here, the Celestron, um, almost three and a half thousand dollars, okay, for one of these. So you're gonna be picking up nice commissions uh, from this. And I think high-end, high-resolution te telescopes is a great niche because uh, specific, but different types of people will be interested in it. So I'm gonna go and follow this up with a prompt saying, using the niche high-end telescopes from a Celestron, give me the keywords and specific audience I can target to go along with the most appropriate products, okay. This is super, super important because what this does, it actually matches specific products from the Celestron range to the right people or to the right buyers, okay? For example, like a $10,000 Celestron uh, telescope might only be for like hardcore enthusiasts, okay? So we wanna make sure that the content is targeted towards them. Whereas this $3,500 one might be a bit more affordable for um, you know the amateur astronomer or whatever. So. This is really, really important. I wanna see what ChatGPT comes up with um, here. Because when we come up with our content strategy for SEO, we wanna make sure that we're putting the right products in front of the right people so that they have the highest chance of buying, okay? Buy, we we wanna capture that buyer intent. There's not enough of this going on, okay? And this is the key to affiliate marketing, right guys? Even in saturated niches, yeah, you think you might not be able to rank, as long as you get in some traffic, and you follow the buyer intent strategy, okay, you're gonna get conversions, right? I see so many people who have a lot of traffic, they do not get the conversions you think you would, and it's because they're leaving this part of the strategy out, all right? So we've got high-end telescopes from uh, Celestron, appropriate high-ticket products on Amazon, so it's given us um, a bunch of uh, products from Celestron, and then keyword ideas with search volume estimates, excellent, so this is specifically about the Celestron micro, um, telescopes, microscopes, telescopes. High-end telescopes for astrophotography, excellent. So you can even go deep into astrophotography. Celestron versus Mead telescopes, advanced telescopes for uh, amateur astronomers. Okay, this is excellent stuff. And here's here's the gold here, the specific audience to target. Okay, amateur astronomers seeking upgrades. So it's giving you the profile of the cyber person, yeah? Enthusiasts who already own entry-level telescopes and looking to invest in more advanced equipment, okay? Needs this. Astrophotographers. Educators, educators and institutions, clubs and societies, professional observers, okay? So this is the profile of, of each individual person who we're gonna be targeting. And here's the content strategy ideas, okay? So in-depth product reviews, right, comprehensive reviews of high-end Celestron tel telescopes covering specifics, etc. okay? Helps potential buyers understand the value. Comparison articles, buying guides, tutorials on how to, ask photography tips, okay? There's loads of information to go on here. By following this and matching the right profile up to the right piece of content and giving them the right product, we're doing everything we can to ensure that that sale, that conversion, okay? This is affiliate marketing goal. This is how it works. So hopefully you've kind of um, have made you curious or at least a little bit interested in doing some high ticket or high end niche finding using ChatGPT. And again, you don't have to be an Amazon affiliate to do this. Uh, you could quite easily do this for something like ClickBank or Digistore or some other um, affiliate marketing network as well, okay? Now, what I, I would do next is, if I was really gonna go into this telescopes niche, I would create a spreadsheet, list all the keywords, list all those search volumes, etc., and then come up with the uh, article titles using ChatGPT here um, for each piece of content we're gonna um, we're gonna target with SEO. Okay. Now you might be thinking at this point, well, okay, if I've generated a hundred keyword ideas um, for all the Celestron range, okay, how am I actually gonna create this content? Okay. I mean, you could use ChatGPT. You could get creative with some prompts, create some SEO optimized articles. But what I'm gonna show you is a tool I've been using. Um, I've mentioned this on the channel many times. Okay. It's called Journalist AI. If you go to tryjournalist.com or go to the link in my description below. Um, right now, you just for entering an email address, no credit card required, you get three free articles straight off the bat, okay? It's a really, really awesome AI SEO content writer, okay? It's absolutely brilliant. Um, it does everything, okay? Make sure you sign up for the link below to um, get any kind of discounts and bonuses, all right? And I'm inside the menu here now. We can create an SEO article. We can actually also go to Amazon and create an Amazon single product review, okay? So again, you can actually automate 
the product reviews for all the telescopes in the Celestron range. And then when you want to go ahead and do things like um, informational um, articles or uh, things like high-end telescopes for astrophotography, we can go back and use the SEO articles, okay? So I just want to sh show you how easy this is, right? Um, I'm not gonna go in depth of this, but there's loads of different customization options. For example, format in structure. It even takes care of the internal and external linking as well. This is really important for rankability. But I can simply put in my focus keyword here, which you will have from ChatGPT, and I can add an article, add an article, add an article, add an article, super, super easy. Or we can upload your spreadsheet or your CSV, your Excel file, and it'll actually go ahead and bulk create the content based on your spreadsheet, okay? Really, really awesome. And this is an example preview of an article uh, that it wrote me for a bread website. Featured image, uh, table of contents here, all done for you. Key takeaways and introduction. And this is completely SEO optimized case. Even got YouTube videos linked into there. Um, all your H2s, H3s, etc. Again, this is an external link. It's done automatically. I've not had to go away and research anything, fact check it, citations. It's already done that for me, the journalist AI platform. This is absolutely brilliant this is awesome conclusion and also frequently asked questions okay so you could quite literally come up with your uh, your strategy inside chat gpt plug that into journalist ai and just basically blow the competition away with targeted content focusing um on the celestron telescope keywords okay high ticket high-end niche okay big commissions and um not too much competition all right and this is like basically what you want to do is when you go ahead and set up a website for niche one, get the content out there with journalists say, I do it again then for website two, for website three, for website four, and just basically blanket content out for uh, these high ticket products and then collect the commissions on the back end, all right? Awesome. So I hope you enjoyed uh, today, today's video. I hope it got you curious about using ChatGPT. Um, it really is an awesome tool, guys, and um, it blows my mind the, some of the stuff it comes up with. And, you know, you might be seeing a telescope web website from you very, very soon, all right? Maybe even do a case study. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Once again, if you want the prompts from today's video, sign up to the Next Gen AI newsletter. I send out only one uh, issue of it a week. It's full of, you know, tips, tricks, and uh, general AI news, and hopefully you'll find that really good too. And, uh, yeah, if you're interested in journalist AI, get your three free articles from my link below in the description. I'm Steve from Next Gen AI, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much.